Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and to today's video. And as you can see, today we're kind of we're kind of going through some of my recent favorite pickups that I have, I guess, accumulated over the past kind of like month or so. But guys, as well as that, as well as this video being full of some amazing, amazing pieces, the heavyweight V2 sweatshirt from my clothing brand, Studio Du Jour, has literally just gone live right now. It's the first link in the description and it's available for worldwide shipping. So this is a sweatshirt. It is obviously included as one of my kind of favorite pickups in today's video. So yeah, I will be talking a lot more about it, going into more detail and obviously showing you some on body stuff um, shortly. But if you guys like already know that you definitely wanna grab this, then pause the video, hit that link in the description because I've got a feeling I've got a feeling this is gonna go fast. But yeah guys, other than that, before we jump into it, smash the thumbs up button, hit subscribe for weekly fashion content, and lastly, hop on over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there. I'm super active. Every day we're posting outfit pictures, outfit reels, and it gives you guys the opportunity to get a behind the scenes look into my life, and also a behind the scenes look into me running my clothing brand, Studio Du Jour as well. So yeah, if that is something that you guys wanna see, definitely give me a follow over there. All right, so I guess that's the intro done. Let's jump in. So it's only right that we start things off with my heavyweight Studio Du Jour sweatshirt, which like I said, has literally just gone live right now. It's the first link in the description. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces that I've ever released. Absolutely beautiful. As always with Studio Du Jour, insane quality, super heavyweight, and it is completely custom made from start to finish here in the UK. What makes it so heavyweight is the fact that it's knitted from 500 GSM loopback cotton that is also milled here in the UK. Absolutely amazing, amazing fit, you know, boxy, oversized, but while still having that kind of signature crop in the length that I personally absolutely love, it's, it's literally the perfect fit. Another thing that I love about this piece is it's just like the finishing details. Like for example, this chunky one by one neck ribbon, I feel like it gives off like a real statement. The same goes with the waistband as well. I'm not sure if you can see it, but you know, super chunky, a proper statement. And then on top of that, to completely kind of finish the garment off, it is completely finished with a top stitch throughout the entire piece. So yeah, as always, I'm really kind of diving in to the finer details just to ensure that the, the overall garment is finished to the absolute highest quality possible. And this piece has, and to be honest, it's, it's the only sweatshirt you're gonna need in your wardrobe. And also, as always, with all my pieces from Studio Du Jour, it is completely pre-shrunk, so you don't have to kind of worry about it shrinking in the wash or anything like that. Um, it's, like I said, it's the perfect oversized boxy fit, slightly cropped in the length, um, in terms of sizing, I'm 5'11". I stay true to size with a size large. And then in terms of the actual pricing, this is coming in at £90. Next up, guys, we have this beautiful kind of chunky knit polo that I actually picked up from ASOS. Um, a lot of you were actually DMing me over on Instagram when you see me style this, asking me where I got it from. And yeah, it's it's one of those it's one of those ASOS gems. It's definitely you know super out there. It's given off all the grandpa vibes. And to be honest, I'm I'm absolutely here for it. It has this kind of deep V neck, but at the same time, still you know covers up well with it having that bit of crossover at the front. It's in this really nice kind of earth tone brown colorway and it is super easy to style in terms of the actual color. You know, you can pair it up with some black trousers, it'll look fire, but on the flip side, you can also kind of keep it tonal, maybe pair it up with some like beige or cream trousers and it'll also look fire. But yeah guys, full on grandpa vibes. It's the perfect kind of statement top for the summer months. Um, in terms of pricing, I believe I picked this up for 30 pound. But in terms of sizing, keep this in mind, this runs huge. I actually had to size down two sizes 
to a small. Like I said, I'm 5'11". Um, so yeah, definitely keep that in mind. So next up, guys, we have this quarter zip sweatshirt that I recently picked up from Arkit. And as you can see, it's a very similar kind of mild gray colorway to my Studio Du Jour sweatshirt. I actually picked this up because I literally don't have any zip sweaters at all, like none in my rotation. So this was, this was definitely a nice little find for me. In terms of the actual fabric, if we're kind of comparing it to the Studio Du Jour piece, um, I'd say this is more of a kind of mid-weight fabric, um, but still a really solid piece. Now, in terms of actually styling it, I, I actually personally prefer to kind of, as you can see on the B-roll, I prefer to have the zip down and then like a vest or something layered underneath. I don't know why, but it feels like a little bit of a cheat code, like a good way of adding a little bit of depth to your outfit, you know, a little bit of layering while at the same time, not kind of overheating in the warmer summer months. All right then guys, so moving on to the last kind of upper body piece before we go on to both legwear and footwear, we have this shirt from Zara. However, I kind of need your help with this one because I'm not too sure whether to keep it or whether to take it back. I need your help. What kind of instantly drew me to this was was actually the overall cut and silhouette of the shirt. As you can see, you know, from the on-body B-roll shots, it's super boxy, drop shoulder, but does have that kind of nice crop in the length. So I do kind of like the overall aesthetic of this shirt. I think it's perfect for the summer months. However, it is kind of really lightweight. It is a little bit see-through. So I guess that's where I'm kind of stalling and on the fence a little bit because I'm not quite sure if the quality is there, but I fucking love the fit of it. So yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe maybe I should just make my own with Studio Du Jour. Um, but yeah, let me know. What do you guys think? Do I keep it or do I return it? So guys, moving on down to legwear. And I recently took a little stroll to Cos, which you all know is definitely one of my kind of favorite retailers to shop at. And I came across these kind of darker wash denim jeans. And these, I believe, came in at £79. I've recently been feeling like I really do need to kind of update my legwear rotation. And, well, to be honest, I feel like I need a complete kind of wardrobe overhaul slash revamp, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm soon to be doing that. And I'm gonna actually document the whole process, which I'm super excited for. But yeah, I have been like a little bit bored of my legwear recently. So I picked these up. As you can see, they're a slightly darker wash denim, which I do really like. And these are a super unique cut and silhouette. You know, they're cropped in the length. They also do slightly taper in at the bottom as well. So probably won't be for everyone. But either way, I personally obviously rate them. I feel like they're giving off like all the Korean style vibes. And yeah, being such a kind of unique cut, I think really helps with your outfit standing out in the summer months when you can't kind of layer up. If you have a little bit of a statement piece or like a piece of clothing that is a really unique cut, I think that really helps. And that is exactly what these are gonna do. I love the color, I love the cut. Overall, a great addition. So next guys, moving on from legwear to footwear, we have what is quite possibly my favorite pickup of today's video, apart from, apart from the Studio Du Jour sweatshirt, of course, link down below. But we have another pair of Birkenstock Bostons, but as you can see, this time I I kind of opted for the more, I guess, kind of traditional camel colorway. Now, you guys may recall I recently picked these up, but in a blue colorway, which I do still really love. You know, I love that kind of pop of blue that they give off, but now that I've picked these up, I've realized I much, much, much prefer these because they're in this kind of tonal camel colorway. They definitely naturally fit into my style a lot easier. You know, I love pairing these with like a wider leg piece for a really nice 
casual spring summer look. These look insane when styled with my washed black kind of baggy wide leg jeans which you guys can actually see from the on body b-roll shots. They look so sick but equally on the flip side of that they do look just as good when kind of styled or paired with like more of a tonal like beige or cream wide leg trouser Honestly, they look equally as good if you're going for more of a kind of monochromatic look. They're just perfect for like the casual, slow spring summer days. You know, the days where you simply can't really be asked. You just slip these on, you know, a wide leg pair of trousers, tuck a t-shirt in, throw a tote bag on. It's a vibe. All right, so moving on to, I believe, my eighth pickup. Um, and that is the New Balance 550s, as you can see in the kind of white and burgundy colorway. Now, I have already uploaded an entire kind of YouTube video on these, unboxing them, styling them. So I'll link that in the description down below. So if you haven't yet watched that, then definitely go and do it after you watch this video. But yeah, I won't kind of waffle on too much with these because like I said, there is a full video, but I absolutely love them. I've genuinely worn them a ton since I got them. A really nice kind of switch up from my chunkier trainers that I already have, super easy to style, and I picked these up for retail at 110 pounds. So yeah, it was it was pretty much a no-brainer. But guys, I still, <laughs> I still do want another pair of trainers. I'm still on the hunt to add to my kind of summer trainer rotation. Um, I'm thinking, you know, is it something like the New Balance 990s or do I go all out and get the Balenciaga runners? I'm not too sure. So I want your help. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But yeah, guys, like I said, there's no point in kind of going into too much detail about these. I've already filmed an entire video unboxing them, styling them, showing you what they look like with different legwear pieces. I'll link it down below. So if you want if you do want kind of more detail on these, then definitely go and give that a watch. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. Now, one thing, before we go, one thing that I do want to quickly say is this kind of filming setup, by the way, is it is temporary. I know it's boring, there's nothing going on, but it's temporary. Um, you guys know that I have kind of moved into a new office space where I run my clothing brand from, where I kind of film all the B-roll stuff from. And I'm in the middle, I'm still in the middle of kind of decorating it and getting it getting it right, you know, kind of putting together some different filming sets. Um, so because it is still a little bit empty, it's super echoey, which is why I'm not filming there yet. But just bear with me because once it's all finished, there is going to be some sick filming sets. Like there's parts of the office which look super clean, super modern. And then there's different rooms where it's like, you know, a strip back brick. Um, yeah, there's loads of kind of insane potential or filming potential in this space. So bear with me. Also, for those of you that have copped the sweatshirt, I just want to say a huge thank you. Um, the support that you guys always show on every single launch is absolutely crazy. Obviously, this isn't like a big launch with loads of different items. This is the first time I've only dropped like a single item. Um, I've got a big launch come in in probably around six weeks or so. Um, but yeah, you will not be disappointed with this sweatshirt. It is insane. Um, so, you know, for anybody that does like it and does cop, make sure you DM me and I'll kind of personally thank you because yeah, the support that you guys show ridiculous. But yeah, man, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment down below. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's basically a daily vlog and I'm going to see you guys. We're back to Sunday uploads now. Obviously, this is getting uploaded on Wednesday because of the, the launch of the sweatshirt. Um, so the next video will be a week on Sunday because obviously this video is a little bit early so a week on sunday the next video and we are about to go hard so yeah hope you enjoyed it i'll see you then peace